Welcome back to Awakened Faith Channel. Father Oliveira shared a message from a brother who received a detailed revelation from God about the Antichrist. This revelation explains how the Antichrist is going to use companies and international organizations to influence and possess people. The devil is very strategic, and without God's grace and mercy, it can be hard to identify his traps. If we do not remain under God's protection and fail to study his word, we will easily fall into the devil's traps. The brother shared that the Antichrist is going to use a symbol or sign that many won't recognize. It will appear to be something normal, something common, that people won't even pay attention to. However, this symbol will actually come from the Antichrist. As some parts of the Bible tell us, the Antichrist already exists among us. Whatever we do in our daily activities, whether it's the services we engage in or how we live our lives, we must rely on God's discernment. We cannot make decisions based on our own will. Every step we take should have God's confirmation. If not, the devil may grab hold of us, leading us to places we never wanted to be. This is why it is important to listen to this brother's message, so you can understand what's going on now and what's coming in the future. Pray over this message, seek discernment, and ask God for confirmation of its truth. Now, I'll share the important message from our brother. He's been holding on to this message since March after receiving it from God. After seeking confirmation, he's finally been led to share it with us. The message is about the mark of the beast, which will have the image of a fox behind it. Let's listen carefully to what God has revealed. He said that the mark of the beast would either have the likeness or image of a fox, or somehow be connected to a fox. It could be hidden in the design, where you have to look closely to notice it or it could be more obvious, in the form of a fox. He also said that this mark would be promoted by a country, nation, international organization, or company where the fox holds some special meaning. This fox might even be part of their emblem or logo. He explained that the leader behind this would either be a ruler of a country or have strong ties to a nation. This leader would be seen as a figure of authority. He also mentioned that it could be a large international company one that operates in many countries and holds significant power and influence, much like Facebook. Though he was not saying it was Facebook specifically, he used it as an example of a company with global reach and influence. This type of company would somehow have a connection to the Fox. He shared that this revelation came to him while he was reading scripture, especially after coming out of a time of fasting. During this time, he felt more spiritually aware and began to notice things in the Bible that he hadn't seen before. Specifically, while reading Revelation 13, certain verses stood out to him, especially verses 17 and 18, which talk about the mark of the beast. These verses felt particularly significant, and he started to see deeper meanings that led to his understanding of the fox connection. When reading the scripture, something new caught my attention that I hadn't noticed before. I had read it many times, at least 40 or 50, but it never stood out to me until now. I realized the beast not only has a number, but it also has a name. I'd always noticed the number, but never the name. This sparked my curiosity. I had to find the beast's name and the scripture gave me a clue, the number of the name. In verse 18, it says, here is wisdom. Let him with understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. I realized that understanding the number would lead to understanding the name. The Holy Spirit revealed to me that this number is an alphanumeric code. Those three sixes could translate into letters. As I researched biblical meanings of numbers, I felt the Holy Spirit guiding me. It wasn't an instant discovery. I spent about a week and a half researching. Then one day, while writing another message, I had Christian videos playing in the background. A video started discussing how math connects to God. It explained how God's creation follows mathematical laws that are true everywhere, always, and cannot be defeated, just like God. What really grabbed my attention was when they said, in God's math, only numbers one through nine are used and nine represents finality. After reaching nine, you start again at one. This revelation gave me deeper insight into the number and name of the beast. The number nine 
represents finality. For example, if you're counting apples, you go from one to nine. Once you reach nine, you start over at one with the next apple. This is just an easy example to explain the concept. The Holy Spirit told me to apply this idea to the alphabet. So I wrote out the alphabet, A to Z, and numbered them one through nine, then started over after reaching nine. When I did this, the Holy Spirit told me to look at 666. So, I counted to the sixth letter, which is F, then the next sixth letter, which is O, and the third sixth letter, which is X. It's spelled F-O-X. I was surprised because I thought it might just be initials, but it actually formed a word. Then I wanted to confirm this with scripture, so I looked for mentions of foxes in the Bible. I found some interesting passages. One was in Psalm 63, verse 9 to 10, where it talks about those who seek to destroy the soul going to hell and becoming a portion for the foxes. I believe foxes here represents devils or demons. Another was in the Song of Solomon 2.15, which mentions little foxes spoiling the vineyard. This could mean demons trying to ruin the spiritual fruit in our lives. And finally, in Luke 13, 31 to 33, Jesus calls Herod a fox because of his cunning and deceitful nature, which are characteristics of Satan. I believe this is God's message about the mark of the beast, and it involves something related to a fox. It could be a symbol, a company, or even a country where a fox is important. God wants us to be aware of this, and to be on the lookout for signs connected to the mark of the beast. Don't just take my word for it. Pray and ask God for confirmation. God will give you wisdom if you ask him. This is a crucial time, and God wants his people to know what's coming. We are living in the times of revelation, and it's time to live accordingly. Remember, God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you too. Stay vigilant, and seek God's guidance. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and praise. You are the creator of all things, the source of life and love, and I thank you for your endless mercy and grace. Lord, guide my steps and fill me with your wisdom as I walk through each day. Strengthen my faith, especially in moments of doubt, and help me to trust in your perfect plan for my life. I ask for your forgiveness for my sins and shortcomings, and I humbly seek your grace to do better. Protect me and my loved ones from harm, and surround us with your peace and comfort. Lord, in times of trouble, remind me that you are my refuge and strength, always present in times of need. May your will be done in my life, and may I always seek to glorify you in all I do. Amen.